This year I'm going to try a new green bean dish for Thanksgiving and I don't know how it'll go over with my family because you know everybody has traditions but I love this green bean dish because it's not only colorful and healthful but it's a nice counterbalance to that rich food that'll be on the Thanksgiving table. So it's really colorful, it's got some zest to it and really good texture. So I've had those steaming just for about five minutes. You could boil them too, but I prefer to steam them just for about five minutes. I like them a little bit, um, still kind of crunchy when I bite into it. And then I've toasted half cup of slivered almonds and let them cool and then put them into my mini food processor and blended it up until it was just kind of like breadcrumbs. You want that kind of texture. Then I've got the juice from one lemon in my little bowl here and I'm going to add about a quarter cup of olive oil and this is going to be a lemony vinaigrette that I'll pour over the steamed green beans. I'm going to put two tablespoons of olive oil into a small skillet and put it over medium heat on the stove. And when that heats up, then I'm going to add the almonds, half cup of breadcrumbs, the zest of one lemon, remember that's just the colored part of the skin around the lemon, and one clove of garlic that I've minced up. So once that olive oil heats up, I'll put that in the pan and it, I'll just stir it for a couple minutes just to brown it a tiny bit. So as soon as this gets a little bit golden, I take it off the heat right away and I'm going to set it aside just for a minute because I'm going to grab the green beans that I've steamed. And remember the olive oil and lemon juice that I mixed together. I'm going to pour that over the green beans and toss them up a little bit. Right before I put this crumb mixture over the green beans, I'm going to add just a couple tablespoons of chopped parsley to the crumb mixture. So remember, it's breadcrumbs, and you can make this gluten-free by using gluten-free breadcrumbs. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it right over the green beans, just like that. And right at the end, I'll put a little salt and pepper over the top, and there you have a zesty green bean dish for your Thanksgiving table. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.